Hello Hoopaholics, it's Coach Spins back here in the film room to talk to you about what makes Jalen Brown such a great off-ball creator. And it really stems from his catch-and-go attack arsenal. We'll break down three of his moves here today, starting with the quick rip. And a rip is a term that we use to describe catching the ball and violently moving it from outside hip to outside hip off the catch. What Jalen is so great at is his textbook use of this type of move where he catches it outside hip to outside hip and sweeps the ball below his knee. And that violent motion allows him to not only get the defender off of him a little bit, gain momentum going towards the basket, and have the ball low enough for a controlled bounce. Jalen shares the floor with a lot of great scorers in Boston, so he's going to be deployed in an off-ball role quite frequently. His ability to thrive in quickly attacking closeouts is what allows him to get open and maximize his shooting and finishing ability at the rim. This is textbook to learn from for young basketball players. Next we have a concept known as the run-through, and this is something that actually Avery Bradley was great at for the Celtics. It's when a player knows that he's about to catch the ball and goes into almost a hop step right as the ball is arriving to him to get his momentum going towards the basket. In spot-up situations, players try to catch the ball with their shoulders square to the basket as if they're going to be a threat to shoot. Sometimes Jalen catches it on the run in a way with this pro hop that allows him to quickly get his momentum going towards the basket and catch a defender flat-footed trying to charge him. I liken the footwork here to that of an outfielder in baseball who's essentially lining up the catch so they can get their momentum going towards home plate to throw a strike. Brown is shooting above 38% from three, so his shooting is a great threat when defenders try to close out to him. That's why he's perfected the pump fake and go. Brown shows the ball and dips his butt every time he catches and is going to pump fake, which gets the defenders in the air. If they don't bite on the shot fake itself, just a little show is enough to get the defender to crowd him and give him a little bit more space to attack the closeout. Brown's movements are subtle, and one thing that he has really perfected over the last few years is the ability to slow down once he gets past his initial defender. That allows him to get into the lane and read what the defense is giving him for any type of finish or kick out. Even in these pump and go situations, Jalen doesn't lose the power of his quick rip. You see how he goes low beneath his knees, outside hip to outside hip, in textbook form as a way of attacking any overzealous defenders. Jason Tatum is getting a lot of attention right now for the Celtics, and rightfully so, but it's the off ball prowess of guys like Jalen Brown that allow it to happen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, and go Celtics!